beginning to feel a little bit uh, left out of the scene here. She hadn't had her picture taken in a while. So I thought I'd just come out here and beautiful weather for, for being outdoors, number one. We've had overcast conditions for probably a month. So, where are we? Pretty much uh, have remained unchanged back here in this uh, in this back area. Uh, there's several things I'm experiencing, uh, experimenting with. One being a a Lexan plate to mount on the uh, pannier luggage rack. That would uh, eliminate the need to fabricate a custom piece to go in here. That's in the works. Canopy. This pretty much uh, is what it is. We've got uh, screws here that secure the rod inside the uh, accessory bar, all four corners. We also have screws in the back side of this, uh, in the back side of this V block here that fasten against the, uh, the rod, fasten against the rod down here. The screws are in the back side. And the uh, Velcro in the back here. Allows you to put some accessories on the top. The uh, visors, which some of you have seen, some of you have not seen. Well, here's the uh, here's the road version. Uh, we eliminated the little clatter clutter back here with this with, with this piece of rubber. And in order to secure it up in the overhead, just a little a little closure there. Let's see what it looks like over here. It's pretty simple stuff. Ninety grams, three point four ounces. I did a five mile ride after dark in Knoxville, bumpy streets through town. Did not have to adjust that at all during that uh, what was probably an hour long drive. Front bar you can see is is filled up. We'll talk about that in a minute. The front, I'm still ex experimenting with this uh, with this little hook arrangement here. Uh, for the most part, I would consider the standard up here being a trigger snap hook. It would snap into a uh, a vinyl eye coming out of this uh, cap. So this is, uh, I'm still experimenting with this. It seems to be working okay. Uh, there's pins in the, uh, through, through the, uh, the tubing here and through the uh, fiberglass rods and the tubes. This morning I put this color, a 3M tape on. I've got red, I also have black. So for the sake of this picture, you can see where the, the installation of the, uh, the 3M tape is. And that's the scotch cowl. It will brighten up when lights hit it at night. The accessory bar is beginning to fill up a bit. We've got uh, these Axiom regular convex mirrors. That, by the way, while we're out here, let me just these things. Uh, there's a there's a lot of flexibility in, in the way these can be mounted. So 
I, I will try to stock these. You're certainly welcome, of course, to shop around for them. Uh, these are the regular convex, and these could be mounted uh, outboard on this accessory bar or, or in uh, if you wanted to kind of tuck in the, uh, the width of the trike. Now, the other side, I put, uh, put these lights, which I primarily use for flashlights because I've got the Denotis front and back. So these are like camping flashlights and emergency lighting, of course. But I also found out that you can balance the, uh, the level of the accessory bar with these accessories when you want to put in a little clamp system for, uh, for your phone. This is a, and I'll put the phone in there. It's really windy out here today, so it's hard telling what we're uh, what we're going to experience. sure if I can even see what you're seeing. That's, uh, that's a view with the camera lens centrally located. So that's pretty much where we're, where we're at. It's a uh, little bit after New Year's 2015. Chicks, uh, chicks getting ready to go back to town.